Hey y'all, it's Robert. It's day 16 of Warboss Tay's painting challenge. And uh, let's take a look. Alright, so uh, these two guys are, are looking pretty close, uh, close now. I, I just have the rifles and the hats to do. Well, I've got to do some details, more details on the faces. So um, today I, I worked on painting some details like I painted all the buttons a white color. I'm not really happy with that white. It might be a little bit too bright. I used Vallejo Ivory. Um, I also spent a good bit of time, you know, looking for uh, mistakes, like little places where I slopped some paint, or maybe I forgot to, to highlight a pocket. But, you know, so that took a while. Um, then I, I worked on... Um, painting the, the faces. I just did the first highlight, but here you can see this guy's got some definition around his lips and, and nose. So uh, tomorrow I'll probably finish up the faces and then work on the rifles. And um, I don't know, I might uh, have time to do the hats too. Um, so I could possibly finish these tomorrow or uh, Monday at the uh, at the most so I don't know I good good progress today the question of the day coolest fictional setting to live in Lord of the Rings Star Wars or Star Trek um, well okay first off it's not the coolest it's the coolest to live in so uh, I don't know I think Lord of the Rings is right out I mean, unless you're going to be an elf or something and live in a magical city, you know, and that's probably not going to happen. You're probably just going to be a, uh, you know, just a normal guy living in some village and you have some baron or, or earl or something lording over you. And you don't even have YouTube. So that one's right out. Um, then there's Star Wars. Um, if you're a Jedi, it'd be awesome. But if you're not, um, it seems like the universe, Star Wars universe is kind of constantly at war. There's always some Mandalorian or, or Sith Lord taking over the galaxy. Um, so, I don't know. I don't think I'd want to live there. Then the final one is Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek has its share of wars. You know, you've got the Romulans, the Cardassians, the Klingons, um, the Dominion, held the Borg. Then there's like space monsters that could just show up and blow up your planet, but uh, but generally I don't know. It's it's a more enthusiastic universe. You know, you've got uh, like the Enterprise isn't a, a warship. It's a it's a ship of exploration, and it's just I don't know. It's a positive place. I think more so than Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. So I would choose Star Trek. Okay, that's it for today. I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow.